Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the NAMM show in Anaheim, California. I'm extremely pleased to be joined by Colin Ritchie of Voyage Audio. Hey, Colin, how are you doing? Very well. How are you doing, Sam? Yeah, <laughs> real good. Now, a couple of years ago in the pages of Sound on Sound, I reviewed a slightly earlier version of this product here, which is called the Spatial Mic. And the Spatial Mic is a second order ambisonic microphone. Now, Colin, for the benefit of the mi tiny minority of people who haven't read that review, it Thoroughly. Uh, what is a second order ambisonic microphone? Well, it's a microphone that can capture sound in 360. So it cap captures the entire sound field from a single point in space. And it's second order um, in this case because there's eight capsules versus you've seen maybe um, some other microphones with four capsules in a tetrahedral configuration. So you're going to get better spatial resolution with a second order microphone. So in terms of what you will actually be able to hear in the recording, how does mm -hmm. that translate? Yeah, so um, you'll be able to hear, it depends on how you're decoding it. Um, so if you're decoding it to say binaural or over a surround sound system, um, you'll actually hear the 3D space. So you'll sound like you're on that side of the microphone. I'll sound like I'm on this side of the microphone. If there's a crowd you know, behind us, you would hear them coming from behind you. Because I think it's a, a common misconception about ambisonic microphones that they're only really useful for surround sound. Sure. Whereas in fact, they're really great tools for mono and stereo recording also. Yeah, so that's what's so exciting about this microphone is that just it, there's so much flexibility. Um, you can decode to complex polar patterns. You can aim them around. It's, it's almost like a, a really good stereo microphone. Um, so, you know, you can do stereo pairs, you can do the width, you can spin them around, aim them in different directions, and you can do higher order, more directed polar patterns than just, say, your classic, uh, you know, Omni, Cardioid, Figure 8. Um, in addition to, you know, now we're doing the 5.1.2, 7.1.4, surround sound. Um, we even have mid-side decoding. So the, the really, really a lot of flexibility even beyond just the, the ambisonics and binaural. Yeah. For sure. And I think ambisonic microphones are really useful in conventional recording scenarios. Mm -hmm. Which brings me on to this, because yes. the original spatial mic had some limitations in that uh, area because of it was output configuration. But this is the spatial mic Dante. And as the name suggests, it's got Dante. That's right. Yeah. So um, the first thing you notice is that it has a locking ethercon jack on the bottom. And um, it's everything takes place here. So it's powered with power over ethernet. So you just use um, either an inline um, injector for the power or a powered switch. And since it's Dante, you don't really need special switches. Um, you know, you, I, you can buy inexpensive switches and uh, power as many of these microphones as you want, essentially. So this brings two huge benefits really compared with the original spatial mic. One of which is that cable runs are not limited. And the other one of which is that you can easily integrate it with other microphones and other input sources. Exactly. And we've already seen Dante being used in, you know, um, live stream for VR, music production, all over the place, really, you can find Dante now. So I think that this, this mic in particular opens up a lot of applications for broadcast and um, live sound. Broadcast uh, in particular, um, you know, you'll be able to decode directly from the microphone down Dante surround feeds. So you won't have to go to the plugin. You'll always get the highest quality using our uh, plugin from the unprocessed signals. But um, we have a new brand new software controller here uh, that allows you to change the DSP configuration for the output stage of this microphone. So in a sense, you're doing some decoding within the microphone itself. Correct. Yeah. So within the microphone, there's a DSP. Um, and you can still get the unprocessed signals up to 32-bit, 192 kilohertz this time. Um, but it, within the microphone itself, you can actually decode first-order order ambisonics, surround sound up to, I'll show you here, up to 5.1.2, eight channels. Um, and then you're also able to do uh, pattern decoding straight from the microphone. So you say, oh, you know, all you need to bring is one microphone, and now you have a cardioid microphone here. Um, so when you're rigging, for example, you can just put up the microphone in the most convenient place and then Correct. decode it later to the best pattern Correct. for that Yeah, spot. or you could have several of these microphones set up on, say, a stage, and depending on who's up there, you can change the configuration of the, the patterns or you know, how you'd like to uh, present that audio. Wow. Yeah. Well, this really is taking the ambisonic microphone to a new level. How soon can we expect it to be available? 
So we're taking pre-orders now and we have all the chips in hand in stock, which is a big deal right now. Um, and so we will be shipping in the fall. And what sort of price point are we looking at? The price point for this microphone is going to be $28.99 uh, USD. Fantastic. Well, I can't wait to try it out. Thanks, Colin. It's great to see you. Have a great NAM. Thank you very much, Sam.